Warwick Davis decided to put Disney on blast. We all know Warwick Davis. He's a little dude. All right, little dude. But he's got a big voice on social media. And Disney might have heard him loud and clear after this big complaint. The only problem for Warwick Davis is that when it comes to a fan base, nobody really cared about the Willow series. And that's exactly what he's talking about. Warwick Davis puts out this tweet a couple days ago, October 14th. I meet lovely people on a daily basis who are fans of Willow, who are the reason the Disney Plus series was made. Please tell me, Disney, what do I say to these subscribers when they ask why they can't watch the series anymore? Hashtag embarrassing. Well, what I would say was nobody fucking watched. If I was Disney, I would say it was more profitable for us to basically write the thing off as an entire loss than it would be to continue keeping this on our platform. That's what I would say if I were Disney. But even in Warwick Davis's tweet, you can tell by the way he words it, even he probably knows this thing's a piece of shit. I meet lovely people on a daily basis who are fans of Willow, who are fans of the movie, who are the reason Disney, the Disney Plus series was made. So not fans of the show, not fans of the show who are begging for it back because nobody actually watched that thing. The ratings yeah. were embarrassing. You'd think Ahsoka was bad. 400,000 people tuned into the premiere of Willow on Disney Plus in five days. Jeez. Like a third of the Ahsoka series. Listen, I, I just got to say this. Willow Wafgood, Peck. I'm at Comic Cons and stuff, you know, and I see how a lot of the fans do react when they meet someone that they've seen, you know, like that's on a show. And they... They say a lot of very, very wonderful things about stuff that's trash just because they're not going to walk up to you and go, you know, that Willow series you did, sir, after I want this autograph and like uh, selfie, it really sucked. And I'm glad they took it down. No one's really going to say that to you. Good friend. Good sir. Um, they're probably going to tell you exactly what you want to hear. There might be one or two guys, but, but what, from what I've seen, it, it doesn't really happen. So, it, yeah, there probably were people that came up to you and said, oh, I'm so sad that it's gone. But uh, he even hashtagged it embarrassing. Hashtag embarrassing. It probably is like <laughs> he probably is like a niece who is like, yeah, do that, Uncle Warwick. Shouldn't he have like put that tweet out like sooner when they made the announcement? Why all of a sudden now? Did something Maybe he happen? just realized it was canceled. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did you even care enough about the project to speak up when they were canceling the project, when all that stuff was going down? You never said anything then. All of a sudden, like somebody, he probably was at some convention and someone said, I'm really sorry that they canceled your Willis series. He was like, what? You can still watch it, can't you? Uh, nah, they said it sucked so bad that they nuked it from orbit and they don't want anyone to realize that it was even on our uh, streaming service. And that's probably what responded, you know. The yeah, tweet. just like, obviously, I just went to his Twitter and like, it's not like he doesn't ever tweet or anything. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know why this happened now, but there's a reason that it was removed and it's because it was a miserable fucking failure. Disney should consider removing more things 